Yoo-hoo! Hello, everybody! Looks like we're getting our little ant friends in here again. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've got, got to do something, I guess. Okay, how y'all doing? Good? Alrighty then. Let's see how we're doing with Mr. Spirit here. You can see he's really started to take shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more touch-up. Now this touch-up just really is going to take you a little more time. The further you get into these carvings, the more time it's going to take you. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start setting out the outline of the eyes. And what I like to do with this particular type of wood spirit is I like to have a very curved eyebrow arch. And then I like his eyes to be higher on the inside and lower on the outside of the eye. So that that kind of gives it a kind of a droopy looking shape. But if you actually look at many people's faces, you'll notice that their eyes do droop down like that. I hate to use the word droop, but they do angle down toward the outside. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to make the arc. The way I like to do this is just pencil it in. Kind of like that. And I... Now this, none of this is ever drawn in stone. As I was mentioning before, you always have a chance, as long as you leave yourself enough material, you always have a chance to recarve it before you got to the finished product. And so we're going to move along here. I'm going to take my little knife and kind of cut the outline of this eye just like that. And there's nothing fancy here. Just carve down and then carve down like that. Surprisingly enough, if both eyeballs, both eye slits are not shaped exactly correctly, exactly the same rather, it almost doesn't matter because I hate to tell you this, but most people do not have symmetrical faces. And one eye will be bigger, one eye will be shaped differently than the other, and frankly, we hardly notice. We see it every day, all day long, with everybody that we know, and we hardly ever notice, unless it's, unless it's really exaggerated. So, having said that, you can do this to your carving, and you will, because it's... Come on, we're human. We don't do things perfectly. And when you carve it like that, each eye a little bit different in shape, nobody will notice. They'll just say, hey, look, it's an eye. Now I'm going to take this knife. After I've carved those shapes, I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to carve down on the first cut like that. And then I'm going to carve up on the second cut, carve around a little bit like that, and then I stop. Do the same thing over here, carve down to relief, relief, release that piece of wood that's in the slot, then carve up, try not to break out beyond that stop cut, and I just did. Well, that's alright. I can still fix it. Yes, 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 friends. I made a mistake. Oh, no. Mr. Chuck has made a mistake. Yes. It happens all the time. Want me to sing to you? Yeah, maybe not. All right. Now, having cut that, that's as much as I'm going to do on the eye right now. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the teeth. Now, watch this. I'm going to start carving some uh, separation between the different teeth in the front and I carve a little slot that's taller at the top than it is at the bottom and since he's a wood spirit he doesn't get a lot of dental care out in the woods so we're gonna give him a little space between his teeth and then we give him some big front teeth like that 
and some smaller teeth back there and then beyond it we just move along and with a knife like this a thin bladed knife it's pretty easy to go ahead and start making those cuts and you got to go easy there because see what I just did just then I just broke a piece of wood back here on this tooth and what that means is that this wood spirit's going to have a broken tooth back here and you know that's not all bad not all good too so you got to be careful doing that and let's see oh telephone hold on for a second sorry 